Hey guys, I'm Ben, and this week we're talking about Ben Wheatley's new film, Free Fire. So, is it any good? Free Fire is a blast in every sense of the word. It's near perfection from start to finish. It's funny, it's violent, it's surprising, and it's Ben Wheatley's most accessible film to date. And I'd probably say it's his best as well. Fuck the small talk. Buy some guns, eh? The premise is pretty simple. So you've got two crime factions meeting up in an abandoned warehouse. One group is there to sell weapons, the other group there to purchase the weapons. And as you can tell from the title, things don't exactly go to plan. You're a little bit rude, eh? Chipping the bird there. He says it's not what he ordered. They ordered M16s? Really? I'm not running a pizza delivery service. Do you want the weapons or you don't want the weapons? The build up to who fires the first shot takes up roughly the first 15 minutes of the film. When suddenly everyone scatters like rats, hides behind whatever object they can find, and yes, shots are fired. Ah! Oh shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, you little asshole! Ah! Ah! <laughs> the brilliance of Wheatley's film is that the action is so carefully paced and so elaborately staged that you never get sick of what essentially boils down to a bunch of guys shooting each other in a confined space for 80 minutes. The rapid fire insults that the characters throw at each other in between taking pot shots are sometimes more brutal than the bullet wounds themselves. <laughs> the cast are all excellent with Chateau Copley and Killian Murphy, the two obvious standouts. Brie Larson shows a bit more depth than we saw from her character in Conk Scott Island. And it's great to see Army Hammer given a role worthy of his undeniable talent for a change. Hey, hey, party Marte. Come on, man. Free Fire is the kind of movie you want to see with as many mates as possible. It's been compared to Reservoir Dogs. And that comparison, while true, doesn't really give Ben Wheatley the credit he deserves. I think for a lot of people, they'll be coming to this and it'll be their first Ben Wheatley film. But after this fun-filled 80 minutes, I don't think it'll be their last. Free Fire blasts its way into Aussie cinemas on April 27.